one of the students was asked why, why this is important. It was a non-Aboriginal girl and she said, well, we're on an Aboriginal land. So of course this is, and I, and I thought for this generation, it's not even a debate in their minds. So we're now up to five people teaching Pulkaminam in our district. It's really exciting. The language is now being taught in the majority of schools in the district. Not all, but you know, this year Pulkaminam is being taught in 22 out of 26 elementary schools and uh, four out of six secondary schools. And the language is being taught to entire classes. So it's not just Indigenous students that are learning local language, it's entire class. We're now looking forward to, uh, with the language, how can we go from language appreciation, which is basic words and phrases, to a greater depth of language acquisition, such as greater fluency. So thinking about how we can look at how we're offering Halkaminam in future years and are there places where we want to have a greater focus on building fluency, perhaps building towards our grand vision, which is having a language immersion program available, but going from our where we are now with this this wide base of basic understanding of words and phrases to contributing contributing to language revitalization in uh, in a really profound way you know if students from local aboriginal communities were through their k-12 education able to start speaking health community you know, beyond just the basics that's i think is the ultimate goal where equity comes in to the picture for students of aboriginal ancestry is their ancestral language, the original local language of these lands, which was Halkaminam. That language has become marginalized and almost lost through colonialism, through the residential school system for a long time through the Indian Act. Aboriginal culture and language was banned. It had a major impact on the survival of language. And I, I talk, I use words like survival and languages going extinct because Indigenous people view their languages as part of their living identity. So here and in other, most other parts of Canada, it's the recognition is there that the languages are at risk. They're at risk of, with the passing of each elder, of that these languages are, are going to be lost. So we have a, a huge responsibility here to to do work, to do our part to help revitalize local Indigenous language, but for students, especially students from local Aboriginal communities, this would have been and should have been their language, and that equity is ensuring that there is access to that language in their schools, and particularly local Indigenous language because it was the first language of these lands.